This is Trigger Hawk, man. You stream the vibes, man. I want Mikey T, the movie star, man, with Pro Car Radio. All right, Trigger Hawk, man. Welcome to Report Card Radio. Appreciate you for tapping in. What's going on, Mikey T? What's going on, man? How you, man? Go way back, man. Yeah, that's true, Trigger. We, we really knew each other before we even actually had anything. Yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact. Definitely, definitely. Scraping, scra scraping something together, trying to make something, right? <laughs> Shit like that. Could you explain for me how the Snow Gang actually got started into rapping? First started rapping, um, Fab Dawn. He was like the first rapper to um introduce us to like the uh with the music um he'd been doing his thing before we even started uh he was doing uh he started with the mixtapes to um i think i think it was snowing in the desert and shit like that mixtapes. you have a he yellow had, tape uh, yeah the yellow tape yeah he, had the yellow, he definitely had the yellow tape and shit going and shit like that and um he used to always push me like yo bro you gotta get in the booth you gotta get in the booth you're right your punchline's that you just gotta get the flow a little, a, a little better and, and kept pushing kept pushing through the years and eventually we started making good music together for me we had uh we had uh, gimme gimme bands, gimme bands. We had uh, we had new niggas. We had uh, we had uh, what else we had? We had a couple of things. We had a couple couple of good tracks together, man. Like, as far as like how I heard you saying, you kept pushing me. You know what I'm saying that's how uh, I stepped foot in and shit like that. You know what I mean? So let's break down the other members of Snow Gang. Could you tell me everyone that was in the Ops Prayer video? Uh, who was in the video? Uh, it was me. Troy the boy, you know, that's um RRP um uh Big Troy um son, you know what I'm saying? Troy Singleton. Uh yeah, he was in it, Fab Dawn, Lynx, Cena, Snow Leo. You already know Cena. Oh uh, yeah, and that shit that shit that shit was lit, man. That shit was lit, man. Straight lyrics. For anybody who might not know, Troy the boy's father was Troy Singleton. Could you explain who that was for New York City? Oh, Troy the boy, father, um, he's from um, South Jamaica, whatever. We eat money bags, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, he's like a, a legend out here, you know what I'm saying? He's like a legend. He's like a living legend, you know what I'm saying? One of those guys, you know what I'm saying? That was that, 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 that was that nigga back in that day, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, he died or whatever, and, uh, you know, his legacy still lives on through a couple people, you know what I'm saying, through his son and shit like that, you know? So how did you eventually meet Troy the boy? Uh, me, that's crazy. Uh, me and Troy the boy. That's crazy. Funny story. My son Don right here. It's a funny story. I think I told Don the story, right? We was at summer camp. <laughs> it's like it's like 2004 or three, some shit like that, right? Two, some shit like that. Way back, yeah. And I used to mess with some girl. I ain't gonna say her name. I used to mess with some girl, and uh, Troy said I took her from him because he had her before, and then he he he, he had took her back and shit like that. Whatever. You know what I'm saying, yeah. That's a story with that. <laughs> He's like 12, 11. How did you two end up start rapping together? Oh, uh, we started rapping together. He was doing his thing, you know, it was locked up. Him and Fab Dawn started collaborating, doing a lot of colla uh, collaborations, you know what I'm saying, with the uh, BBA, um, been in Block Assassin shit, I'm saying, they had going on, and, uh, you know, a little mixtape thing they had going. And uh, I came home, I liked what he was doing, I'm saying, you know, I linked him, you know, we're so, you know, both from the same hood, Rochdale area, you know what I mean? And we got together, you know I'm saying, real niggas, and linked up, I'm saying, and, uh, you know. You being that other members of the Snow Gang have families with long history in Queens, New York, uh, where did you establish your name? Where is it that you come from? I come from 134 Gabriel. You know I'm saying same block as 50. You know what I'm saying, uh, uh, but you know what I mean. I have my own name. I've always had my own name. You know I'm saying I always, like, always had the um the 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 the, the, the motto. You know what I'm saying that uh I'm a boss. I'm saying like nobody gonna be able to tell me. Anything for me, what I think is right is right. For me, what I think is wrong is wrong type shit for me. So I never had like an older brother or older person like to live off their name. You know what I'm saying? I made my own umbrella. You know what I'm saying I made my own name in these streets. For me, you know what I'm saying my first bed at 16 years old, Washington Correctional Facility. You know what I'm saying niggas know what niggas knew what it was. You know what I'm saying like, like niggas knew what it was. You know what I'm saying made my runs. You know what I'm saying. So, Trigger, let me ask you, what was it that actually attracted 50 Cent to you and Snow Gang? Oh, yeah, we had the, we had the streets for me. With the, with the, I, I think with the music, I'm saying street-wise, we had everything. I'm saying, like, I mean, and, uh, I've been knowing him, saying he knew my moms, he knew uh, a couple of people, he knew my cousin Toya, family, I'm saying, shit like that, I'm saying, growing up, I mean, and uh, you could say I re-met him, saying through Wise, linked him through Wise, and all. Uh, 
in the hood, came in the hood, was with me, no security guards for hours. Niggas always told me to be a security was there with no security for hours. I'm saying chopped it up and all. Gave me a couple pointers. I'm saying this music shit. Could you explain to me what you mean by re-met him? Uh, I say re-met him because, um, you know, I've been in college for a while, like, almost like, while long, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying in and out, I'm saying in jail, so I'm saying I get a chance to see him, you know I'm saying? So we got a chance to rebuild, you know I'm saying? I'm grown now, you feel me? So now I'm a, di- I'm a different person, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, he a different person, you know what I'm saying? And people change, you know what I'm saying, through the years and shit like that, you feel me? Could you tell me how 50 Cent actually reached out to you? Was it after the Ops Prayer video? Was it that day in Queens? Oh, yeah, it was that day in Queens, right in the hood. He was, on, um, he was in the back he was in the back box and shit like that. In the hood, chilling. It was nighttime, matter of fact, too. I pulled up, it was nighttime. I was kind of shocked. Because, matter of fact, um, we was on some, uh, we was on the bikes. It was me, Smiley, and my son, uh, Dula. He Dula, matter of fact, too. And we, we riding. Uh, we say what's up to Waz. We say peace to Waz, G-Unit. We see the nigga, uh, we see, uh, we see five in the car. I'm like, oh, shit, for me. I'm like, oh, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't on no, uh, saying no, um, you know, no fan shit and like that, you feel me? So, you uh, know, after that, we talked, chopped it up and shit like that, you feel me? He was in the hood for like, wow, I was in front for like at least four or five hours. He said he was chopping it up, like, in the hood, like, outside. The last thing that I'm going to ask you, Trigger, about 50 Cent, is there a piece of advice that he gave you that you will never forget? Oh yeah, yeah, um, piece of advice, some things, son. Uh, oh yeah, he told me that um, life is elementary. He said, um, get rid of that weight. He said, cause uh, if you got blocks and uh, you're trying to build something, you got blocks at the bottom that's that, that that's, that's steady moving, steady shaking. You're not you're not gonna be able to build, cause the um, foundation ain't right. You know what I mean, that was one key thing. You know what I'm saying, and um, I've been doing that. I'm saying, I kick a lot of niggas to the curb. <laughs>